Across the street from all the construction for our newest residence hall, we have the beauty of the Vasco and Backyard Farmer Gardens and our rain chain. I want to focus today on the beauty of Penstemon. This is a genus that has multiple species in it. Our own Dale Lindgren developed Husker Red Penstemon, and we have used several species not only in the rain garden, but also in our courtyard and in the rest of our spaces because of their gorgeous flowering. What you'll notice on these is one called Dark Towers, which is the latest iteration that Dale created that it has dark foliage and pink flowers as opposed to dark foliage and the white flowers of Husker Red Penstemon. But this beauty right here is one called War Axe, which is one that Harlan Hammernick actually discovered at the War Axe State Recreation or State Wayside area. Multiple different colors. This is a shell leaf penstemon. You'll notice how the foliage is actually joined in the center. And then this gorgeous spike of flowers emerges in multiple colors. You don't find this one specifically uh, in garden centers in split colors, but what, what you will find is this mix of deep, beautiful flowers. Penstemon's common name is beard tongue, and it gets that because the stamen is bearded. And if you look at the flowers themselves, one of the ways you can differentiate, we have lobing on the base, and then we have that interesting stamen. So these are pollinated by insects. Beautiful, beautiful, fairly short-lived plants in the landscape, but ones that seed themselves about and you can find, especially the shell leaf penstemon, blooming where it has been used in mixes along roadside ditches and through the sand hills in gorgeous, gorgeous locations. Penstemons are relatively short-lived, and one of the things that the breeders have done is they have hybridized with a Mexicali version of this. We are trying these in our courtyard in a couple of different locations to deliberately figure out which ones are going to tolerate heavier construction soils because penstemons really do like good drainage. This is one of the ones we planted last year. It's called Carolyn's Hope, just beginning to flower. These are against a steam tunnel, east facing, but between the building and the sidewalk in non-irrigated, perfectly dry conditions. And you'll notice the foliage is beautiful. They're just beginning to bloom. The usual bloom season for most penstemons is June. If you get three weeks of flowering, that is quite a bit. So again, the hybrids are supposed to bloom a little bit longer. The foliage is clean, relatively few diseases or insect pests. Let's see what happens with our new hybrids in the courtyard, knowing full well that on the other side of the building, we put them in conditions where it's not as well drained. They're flowering earlier, but the plants themselves are really going downhill. So take a look at these penstemons and consider whether they are a really good addition to a well-drained sunny spot in your landscape.